Hello everyone, this is Vordi, welcome back. I am going to be doing a video today on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Um, essentially what it is, I'm going to do a tour, uh, kind of like I did with my Final Fantasy Brave Extra videos, it's going to be like a tour, kind of like my account, uh, where I will talk about, uh, kind of just my account and how I've gotten so far. So I mean like, obviously, uh, making videos is something that's new to me, I kind of want to do it because, uh, I don't know, I find it really fun <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, it's just fun it's a lot of fun to make the video so i'm hoping to kind of enjoy the game more because it's right now global has been a little bit dull so hopefully we can enjoy that a little bit more okay so uh <clears throat> like a tour i guess so right now what i was doing was for this party i have made here i was using this uh, party to beat the future trunks event and the reason why is is because we're gonna do it right now um i wanted to doken awaken xeno trunks we're gonna do that right now. So as most of you probably know, if you're paying attention to the updates for JP, we're gonna be getting a new system where it's like a, a dupe system where you can feed them into each other. On top of that, you can kind of undoken cards so that you can feed them into anything. So at this point, as far as the characters go, it doesn't really matter if you doken awaken them or not. Uh, if you're like trying to wait to level up their super attacks, it's up to you. Uh, obviously, there's certain characters you can use to level them up, like for example, Xeno Trunks, there's different ones, but uh, to be completely honest, as far as I'm concerned, mine's level 1, I don't really care, because I have other characters that I normally use, and I don't have the God Lead, um, I don't have Physical Broly, uh, the God Lead, so I, it, to me, it doesn't really matter. I normally use uh, Majin Vegeta for myself, so let's see, where did I put him? Where did I? Well, he can't be Doken, because he's right there. So I got my Majin Vegeta, he's 2, I... I pulled them uh, many times, so uh, <clears throat> yeah. So let's uh, we'll do it like that. We'll, we'll we will look at um, hmm. Let's just do a character list, and we'll do them by by kind of like from agility over to, over to the right thing. So uh, kind of show you my character. So obviously I have uh, Vegito. I've pulled them a few times. My the one I use right now is let's say ten. I also got one here that I'm saving for the dupe system, so he's pretty cool. Definitely one of my favorite characters. So uh, let's see what else here. Oh, also lucky to pull a great ape, Vegeta. So that's cool. Uh, so you'll see there's multiple dupes here for some of them that I'm just kind of waiting uh, for the dupe system to kind of take advantage of that. For example, I Doken Awaken this guy who hits like a beast. Um, I do have a few of him. Over here as well that I could token awaken, but I'm just gonna wait, like I said, for the dupe system. So that is my agility box right there. All right, let's go to tech. Uh, all right, so I got a lot of these uh, these Roshis lying around. Actually, I wanted to kind of do it like this, so we can see the best. So I got lots of Roshis lying around, waiting for whoever is next. I'm hoping that the next God card. I get would be the strength one which is Omega Shenron. I would really really like Omega Shenron because uh, I do have him on my JP account which I don't really play. I just kind of collect the stones and pull and kind of just use it as a way to kind of update myself so I know what's coming in the future. But yeah anyways here so I got uh, Go Tanks uh, also maxed out and then I got these guys as well during the event that just came out I also uh, unlocked all of them so or Doken Awaken them rather. Uh, my first ever uh, UR card that I ever got. Uh, let's see what else here. So, as you can see, Max. I got a lot of uh, cells I'm holding on to. I'm not feeding them into that cell again. Dupe system. More Vegitos. Uh, tech Vegitos there for the dupe system. Because some of these cards are actually really, really good. Actually, we can probably, since we're all here and doing this, I might as well. Doken Awaken Future Gohan and uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku because I actually did those events already so let's see here but hopefully we'll do that at the end instead of stopping the video so that there is my uh, my tech box <clears throat> why why you do this why you do this okay so next one will be my int box so there you go int uh, <laughs> when this guy came out I got super lucky and I just kept pulling him so, I pulled him a few times actually. Uh, let's see here. 
So yeah, we got some other guys here. So yeah, there's another Gohan over here. I pulled. So the reason that they're, if you see they're like level 77, like for example this one. So what ended up happening is, because his cost is lower, I ended up using him for certain events and he's gotten levels like that. So there's a lot of these characters that I can still doken that I haven't. There's some of them that are going to be dokenable soon. Uh, let's see here. Yep. So that is my intelligent box. I have enough um, medals to doken him. It's just that he's still SA9. So I'm waiting for the next good banner to pull on. And then um, hopefully we'll uh, we'll get him. Let's see here. So yep. So that's my uh, intelligence box. So strength. <clears throat> so my first god lead I ever got was Gogeta. That's when I kind of started playing the game more seriously. I got Gogeta. He's also SA10. As you can see, he's a uh, trucking right now. So let's see what else here. I got another Gogeta I pulled during like the holiday event or whatever. Got Gogeta there. We got Spirit Bomb Goku. Just recently got him. Uh, as you can see, I also kept some of these Gokus right now. So that I can use them to kind of uh, level up the essays for some other Gokus. Like, preferably, I would like uh, to see this guy and the Goku and all the Broly event uh, guys that have the. What is it called? The Link. The Blazing. The Blazing Battle Link for all, like, the Saiyan cards, like Goku, Gohan, and Goten. They can Doken Awaken later on. And that Goku is actually the same same name Goku as this one, Super Saiyan Goku. So you can feed all of these into him, then I can get him to SA10, and then I can Doken Awaken him into, you know, a decent card. All right. So this is the rest of my strength card. So you'll see. <clears throat> pardon me. There's a lot of cards here that are absolutely useless that I keep because I like to collect them because some of these characters are my favorite and stuff like that. So like, like Frieza and stuff like that. So I keep them. Why not? And then a physical, which is what the one we kind of started off as. Uh, so we got booze, you know, trunks, more booze, Gohans. I know that Nanogenix has been trying to get this guy forever. I remember pulling him and being like, oh my god, what a garbage card. Till I realized that he's a sealer and he, he was my best sealer for the longest time. So we can Doken Awaken this Goku as well. Um, got the tournament cards there. Okay. And again, I'm saving these Gokus as well, because uh, he's got the name Super Saiyan God Blue Goku. So I can actually feed this guy 50% going into that uh, that Super Saiyan God Blue Goku, the agility one. Um, but I Doken Awaken them before I started getting these cards and then realizing that. So again, waiting for the dupe system so I can use those or maybe some other God card will come around that I want to kind of feed that into. So, so that's that. So those are, uh, that's my box right now. Uh, as is right now. So I got some of those uh, Kai's and, and uh, Roshi's that I can use on another card. So let's see right now. What's the banner that's going on? So right now you got the Rising Dragon and uh, the Universe 7 and 6. So I don't really need anything in, in this banner. I would like Turles, but again, I'm not going to waste my stone because I'm waiting for... Uh, like I said, I have a feeling that Omega Shenron is probably right around the corner. Well, not Omega Shenron. I think the first one's going to be the Golden Frieza, maybe? Is it Golden Frieza? Yeah. Might be Golden Frieza, I think. I should look at the timeline, maybe do a video on that. But yeah, I think as far as the timeline goes, uh, I think it's Golden Frieza, then Omega Shenron. Um, and then things pick up. And as you can in JP, they pick up and like almost every other week they get something pretty crazy. But the good news is, actually, we'll, do, we'll talk about that a little bit too. The good news is, is that as you... If you logged in today, you would have realized that uh, we have the new tournament rules. So the way the new tournament rules work in general is, is that you get to pick a ranking. So when you beat the game, like first you'll have like a th one or two options, I think, like the difficulty. And then when you beat it the first time, you'll have more and more difficulties unlocked. And as you beat the stronger difficulty, you'll get more difficulties. The, the way the difficulties work, as, in, as they do in Japan, is that um, you'll get a, like the all the enemies are gonna be they're gonna hit stronger they're gonna have more hit points and stuff like that so they're gonna get an overall stat boost and they're more difficult to beat so they hit harder there and stuff like that so when you beat them you get more points so uh, like there's a multiplier for everything let's say like times two times three times four times ten and it gets harder and harder but you get more and more points so yes it's gonna take you longer uh, on like the on the good side or on the bad side but on the good side is gonna get more points so you want to find that 
good medium for yourself to make sure that you advance as fast as possible or to get the best points. And I think, if I remember correctly, just don't quote me for it 100% because I don't speak Japanese. I remember looking at it when the first tournament came out and I think the way it works is now it's no longer that you have to get 80 wins, I think. I think you have to get like a certain amount of points. So it's a lot. E it's gonna be a lot easier for people to kind of get those points, so you can get your guaranteed SSR. But again, this is something that's uh, that just came out. So the other thing they're adding is the World Tournament prizes, the guaranteed SSRs, where I believe you can use your tickets, and now you can get previous tournament cards that maybe you haven't gotten and you and you would like to try. It. So you can actually try and pull in the World Tournament prize guaranteed SSRs and see if you can uh, get one of those cards. I would like the, the Gohan, like this ultimate Gohan right here with the sword. Uh, I would really, really like the buff Goku. And again, these cards aren't groundbreaking by any means, but uh, for collectability, they're really, really cool. The one that's really good is the Super Boo, the physical Super Boo, which just came out, I think like a last tournament or a tournament before, because you can use him to beat Gotenks and he hits pretty, pretty hard as well. So, so that looks pretty good. Um, let's see if there's anything else in the news here that we can talk about. Yeah, so all these other events are going on right now. So the the future Gohan, the three Gokus, uh, the right now you can get them. Uh, you can Doken Awaken them through the different events. So yeah, so that's good. What else can I show you here? So let's go here. Uh, no, I'm going to go. Uh, nope. We're going to go to items and I'm gonna Awakening Metal. So I'll just show you my medals. To kind of show you how far I've uh, progressed in the game. Obviously, my, I'm ranked 271, so I've been playing for for a while. So these are all my my medals. So I didn't, I wasn't playing around the time when these Resurrection F medals were around. I wasn't around at all. The way I got these Resurrection F medals is from Baba Shop. So as you can see, I got 25, 6, 7, 12, 7, all bought from the Baba Shop. I wanted to open awaken one of the Golden Freezes. And I still don't have enough, but hopefully that event comes back one day. Alright, so you got those. So now we're into the big ones here. We got uh, 95 Berserker of Destruction medals. Again, I farmed it up, hoping that I would pull Physical Broly when I was pulling on him, and uh, there was no luck. I also farmed up a lot of medals for Boo, and then I realized I wasn't going to get Boo, so I kind of stopped. I also pulled a lot for the... Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God Ke or Kirken Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, however people are calling him nowadays, but Super Saiyan Blue, the one that does Kirken, that just became came before Boo. Uh, again, I thought I was gonna get him. I prepared a lot. I I did a lot of fights for him. I beat him. I got 114 medals, and nothing happened. I mean, like the medals won't go to waste because I believe these are all the medals you get to use for the androids, the LR androids. So it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see the other medals here. Again, I farmed up 8 Turtles medals, never got them. I'm at 14 right now, so I need 7 more so I can, aw so I can awaken all 3 of the Gokus. That's probably what I'm going to do next, right after this video. Um, yep, so there we go. You got most of the strike cards I've got. Got the future Gohan cards there. Champas, and I'm slowly chipping away, which is probably what most logical people are doing right now. They're slowly chipping away at LR Goku. So I got the first tier at SA10, so now I'm just kind of sitting back and... Uh, farming him slowly but recently we've been getting pretty okay events so there's no time to waste any uh, stamina into that so that's kind of how that's working out so uh, my teams here these are the teams I uh, run so this is my uh, my was my uh, what do you call it tournament uh, group that from the tournament that just went by this was my tournament group i'm gonna probably shuffle this a little bit now that the points are changing i might end up having the vegito uh as the leader and then the vegeta because then they he gets the boost so then you can kind of nuke a little bit um so I'm, I'm gonna have to see which one is or actually i have the nuking goku on there the tech nuking goku, goku as the leader and then do that to see if i can one shot people at a higher level uh this was my mixed rainbow team this is my tech team Currently running, I'm probably gonna replace that uh, that ultimate Gohan from the tournament. I don't know yet. Just kind of playing around with the group. Uh, up next, this is my agility team. Currently, uh, there's a lot of here that can be moved around. I'm I wish I had a sealer, which I don't have yet. That's kind of one of the reasons I'm excited for the Mega Shenron is to get that uh, Oceanic Shenron to make my team uh, a little bit better. So that's that. 
this is the group I was just using to beat those weird events uh, really quickly, so that's cool. This here is my LR Goku team. Uh, this team here was the team I was using on the Heroes event to collect. Actually, I'm still using it. This is the team I'm using right now to beat uh, the legendary Goku uh, from the Heroes and Villains event to get the seven more uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku medals so that I can Doken Awaken all three of my characters. So that's kind of the overlook over my over my account. What I'm going to be doing is like like I did with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is just doing a quick introduction and then as I uh, as I like have more time I'm going to put more videos up. So I'm probably going to have two different playlists going on. I'll have one for Final Fantasy Brave Exvius and then one for Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle and I'm probably going to just stick to those two games. Uh, I might record other games and kind of use them as back play when I'm talking on some uh, some stuff but that's kind of that's kind of what we're going to we're going to use that as. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like Dokkan Battle, please put a, a like on there or subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, depending on how much traction this gets, I would love to make more Dokkan videos, uh, making strategies on how to beat most of these um, most of these bosses. I mean, like I've beaten, like I've been playing the game for quite, actually longer than Final Fantasy Brave XP, so I'm uh, a lot better at it. I'd be happy to make more videos on how to beat all these things. So if, uh, if you want that, please let me know with like a like maybe, okay? So thanks so much, this is Vordy and I'm out.